Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will be discussing how to add the customized tool for doers in tool database using ArtCamp 2017 CNC3 axis. So first thing we will require is to have the perfect front view image of the doer which we wanted to add in ArtCamp 2017. The image file should be of high resolution and no sh shadow of the tool should interfere in that image. So first thing we will open the image of the tool like this now we will trace the child profile of the image You can see from this to this there is a curve. We'll draw the curve. You see the cursor sign is changed. The sign of the cursor change is due to the snapping. The snapping you can see here the snapping is this snapping should be on. Then you will see the cursor change. The sign showing the perfectly vertical. So like this you need to complete the gel profile of the tool it needs a patient and a perfect time You can see the cursor sign change. This is due to the snapping. So this is the half profile we have made. It is the child profile you can call. You should know the distance from this end to this end. This is the perfect finish uh, image or you can say the um, perfect child profile that uh, we want. That we always uh, use this tool for to have on the doer designs. So you can see here now we will join this all vectors just go in the vectors join join with coincident nodes see you can see here there are seven nodes now after complete there will be two nodes you see here there is a extra so we need to trim it when you are trimming always auto join on so no need to join again by going in the again so you can see now there is a one node so now you need to uh, measure the practical values from this end to this end I am taking as a 7 mm <coughs> and from this to this I am taking as uh, 25 mm so per overall diameter from this after mirroring it will be 50 so I am cutting the vectors and choosing a new model just paste and uh, use the transform to rotate it by 90 degree and uh, then press F and F9 to go in the middle then press or directly give here width as a 25 mm and height as a 
7 mm say apply you can see here this is the which we wanted to have now go in the tool path to here you can see the create custom tool form and say ok you see here the tool is created you can give the customized tool name as a doer you can enter here d50 as a diameter is a 50 mm customize you can here input as t1 for the tool customize d50 then you, you can see here the diameter is 50 step down you can see is a 7 then units these are the uh, default values that are generated according to the diameter you can here as 18,000 and no need to change this just say ok and the tool you can see here the d1 customized d50 tool name is uh, here it's generated just say ok or if you uh, want to change the feed rate or the plunge rate if you are not satisfied with that you can take a reference of other tool accordingly according to that okay so you can also give the that values to parameter values to this so now we will be using this tool to show you how to uh, use this tool customize tools so here is our tool we will be using this tool so this uh, tool vector file I am exporting as a Z profile in a APS format and just delete. Now I create some doer vector designs like uh, this one. Just press Ctrl Alt to perfectly copy the vertical and again Ctrl Alt. If you want one more or just uh, move it without copying then just Alt. Again Ctrl Alt and as you can see here. Okay. So group and uh, go in the tool path 2d tool path in profile choose along give the step finish depth as a 7mm as our customized tool has a 7mm select you can see a 7mm just select it and say calculate and here click define the material should be more than 7 I'm taking it as a 10 and calculate now now Go in the tool path simulation, simulate all tool path, high detail, and simulate the tool path. Now you can also in the simulation you can choose the material as a light oak or a vertical. Say apply. You can see here the the tool which we have created is we have used that tool. So this is the part one for the customized tool. We will be discussing a further more details about corner finishing here in the next tutorial. So you can note the clamping distance here from you can measuring the in the top view to avoid the accidents. Okay. So I hope you like the video. Please uh, subscribe and comment. And for any inquiries related to mold pattern of uh, wooden aluminum or any decorative panels jolly designs or engraving our own frames images you can contact me and also for a 3-4-5 accessions machinery 